Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And coming up for you is live action from Major League Soccer. It's the Chicago Fire and they face the New York Red Bulls. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Gaston Jimenez. Number eight, Chris Mueller. And number 11, Casper Clisbilko. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. This is the lineup visitors today. Well, they're playing the same shape, really. So it's all about getting control of that central area and which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game. Thank you for attending. Have a great time at today's match. And the contest begins. Fernandez. And it's a quality pass. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Good movement. Could pick out a teammate. Can he put them in front? Yes, is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Harper. Castanets Jr. are getting the ball forward. And no way through. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance, and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, the referee trying to play advantage there, but it wasn't forthcoming. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
Fabian Herbers. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, the good value for the lead. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, 2-1 it is here. Nice looking pass. Well, the attack looks promising. And the body in the way. Fans, a reminder, entering the pitch at any time. Gutierrez has it. Violators will be subject to prosecution. Thank you for your cooperation. Casares Jr. Burke. Fernandez. Amaya. Will he find the net? Big chance. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Harper there to win it back <laughs> Fabian Herbers Suke Getting forward. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. <laughs> and over it comes. And tipping it over the crossbar. Well, smuggled behind for another corner. And there's the delivery. Not all that convincing defensively. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Now Gutierrez. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. The attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. He's in behind. Well, he hit it with authority. Close.
And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, what an outstanding first half he had. He dictated the play and was a constant threat with his ability on the ball. Surely he's going to be marked a lot tighter in the second 45 minutes. Otherwise, he completely dominate the game. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. The teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Substitution for New York Rebels. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Number 21, Emil Fernandez. Coming on to the pitch. Number 10, Lewis Morgan. Who can he pick out? Well, he failed to get it away properly. Able to close down the shot. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Crossing possibilities, but into the keeper's gloves. Luquinhas. Frankie Amaya. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. That's useful play. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. And it's gone behind for the corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? The clearance wasn't decisive. Suke. Could be troublesome. Looking for the angle. Not to be this time. Casares Jr. Morgan. Burke. Oh, he looks threatening. A good and fair challenge. Now Gutierrez. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Harper. Burke. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. into the advanced position well didn't go to plan in the end now can they counter clinically who can he pick out cross blocked throw-ins given
Two mates in limit. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. How can they nudge in front late on here? Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Ten minutes to go then. Luquinhas. Burke. Very quick thinking there. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Shakiri. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And forward will they go, chasing the game. And you need your defender to take charge. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat, and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.